Hi, it's Deadshot with another three minute camera review. Today we're looking at the Canon P. The Canon P was released in 1959 and the P stood for popular and it was a very popular camera for Canon. This camera is not a small rangefinder. It's actually quite large and it is very good looking. The features of this camera are pretty easy to use and pretty easy to find as well. The self timer is in your typical place. The wind lever is large and easy to advance. When you do advance it, to indicate that it's advancing correctly, there is a little orange knob that rotates with it. Probably about the only thing I don't like about this camera is when film is loaded, you have to lift this knob so that it can rotate as you advance the film. You'll see a lot of used Canon P's with a scratch and a circular shape because of the bottom of this dial has worn into the camera. Luckily mine's in pretty good shape. The shutter speed dial is right here and has large grooves on the edge for easy grip and to rewind the film you have to rotate this knob until it lines up with this index mark here. Flash sync speed is 1 55th of a second. Another thing I like about the dial is it continues to rotate without you having to go back in the other direction. This is not the typical lens that comes with the Canon P. However, I like this one a little bit better, so I borrowed it from the Canon 7. It does have a release that you have to press to adjust your focus. It will lock at infinity, like a lot of other rangefinders similar to this time. Another thing I really like about this camera is the film back can't accidentally be opened because there is a lock right here and to unlock that, you'll turn the camera upside down and lift this. When you twist that, then the camera back opens up. There is no place to insert batteries. So I'd recommend an external light meter when using this camera. The lens is removed simply by twisting it. It is a Leica thread mount. So you can use a ton of different lenses with this camera from multiple brands. This camera is heavy, but everything is in the right spot with one exception. I do wish the rangefinder was a little bit farther to the right because when using a large lens like this, the lens takes up some room in the corner of the viewfinder. Let's take a look in the viewfinder. You can see the other focal length lines are superimposed in the viewfinder permanently. There is no way to hide them. Here are some pictures I've taken with the Canon P.